All right, I'm back. Okay. So what did we? So what, what, what did we go? Huh? Uh? So what happened when I left? Nothing. I literally just left. We the game as it was. drank German. We drank German Starkey, and a nice still stats from me. Yeah, what was it? I need a fun. You need charm, right? Uh, let's check. Um, you needed. Yeah, it was fun. Fun. I need charm. That day you decided to go scuba diving and find treasure chests at the bottom of the lake. Woo! Yeah, we you picked the lock while well, quite impressed if you keep in mind that you're still underwater. Inside you find one over 1,000 fun. And unfortunately, your wetsuit doesn't have pockets, so you can only go to back shore of 2 plus 2 fun. When you go back, the fish have eaten the rest. They're having a rave right now. Fucking fish. You're hanging out later with Milo on the shore, helping him find a, uh, a way to tastefully photograph all the dead animals Scott keeps proudly bringing to you when... Whoa! Whoa! Do you guys hear that music? It's like a golden shower in my eardrums. No! No, 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 no. Well, I don't know why, but I really want to find that source of the music, even if even if I have to drown to do it. In fact, especially if I have to drown. Oh, no. I know what this is. You all see a siren sitting in the middle of the lake, riffling and harmonizing with himself and generally being even more of a show off than an X Factor contestant. Whoa, I think I think the music is coming from the pretty singing water hottie in the rock out there. Hey pretty singing water hottie, I like your music. Thanks, shouts the hottie in the rock. You should follow me my SoundCloud. Oh you know, just swim out to my rock and possibly drown in the process. Hey, why not both? No, Scott, that's a siren. The music may sound nice now, but if you follow the, that SoundCloud, you'll be uh, technically uh, endorsing all of their extreme problematic opinions. Don't you see? If you drag your reputation down to the depths. Oh, come on, Milo. How can someone with such a pretty voice have bad opinions? You don't believe me? Fine. Here's one of the Siren's tweets. Well? The world needs to be more... Uh, breathtaking. Literally. We should take breath from non-underwater creatures. If you can't breathe underwater, maybe you don't deserve to breathe. Hashtag just... Uh, uh, being real. Uh, sorry, I only hear the first seven words of anyone re anyone reads to me. Then the first five words sound great. Speaking of sound great, hey Siren, do you have any more songs? Sure, I shot Siren. Here's one I like to call "Let's Kill the Ones with No Gills." Why don't you come over here to hear it? It'll be fun. I'm totally not dro uh, drowning your pathetic underwater ass. Yay! Wow, you speak with such confidence. Following you is starting to sound like an even better, right, better idea. Please, Scott, I follow you on Instagram. If you get cancelled, I'm not, I'm not falling behind. Stop this madness, or or I'll block you. I'll be forced to block you. No, you can't stand such a, uh, such strife. You gotta convince Scott to follow something else. So inside of this problematic siren, don't follow that siren, Scott. Follow your dreams. Why not? Why follow that siren when you could follow this frisbee? <laughs> I feel like the bottom one. It has to be the bottom one. I don't care what it, the stats are. Oh, uh, but I want to see the bottom. One. <sighs> yeah. I thought the bottom one was fun, which was my lowest stats. So, uh, follow my dreams. Okay, that sounds way cooler than following that siren. Really? That's great. It's always uh, said that. Vig. 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 About self analyzing, have to have survival value. But Coach never listens. Probably because I only say it on Instagram. And Coach doesn't have Instagram. But that's hardly an excuse for not following. Anyways, I <laughs> I feel oh, no. generous. Oh, no. What's your dream, Scott? So I can help you 
if it, in reality, it's going to be full I'm glad over. you asked. In my dream, I'm a race car full of cooked beets speeding down the highway. That's also my missing dad. And then Coach rolls up to me in a canoe and says, Do you want a mortgage? And I say, Sure. But all that comes down is a copy of a French construction. But Coach understands. He says, I'm off. I'm, pr I'm, I'm proud of you, son. And then he rips off his face and he's really the siren from the rock over there. Then I follow their SoundCloud. <laughs> wow, I guess it's really meant to be. Thanks, Natsume. You really helped me make an, <laughs> this very good decision. No, wait. Personally, Kroon's like, I think Scott is making a great decision. I also think that racing again, not know what people get a really bad rep in the media. Uh, do go on. That Simon does indeed go on very loudly, totally ruining the leg for everyone mile away even look at you. You lose your charm, you just, your charm and your bonus. Well, I'm going for charm next. Uh, charm. Shoot. While you're in the th uh, thorns of battle at the Camp Dome. One of your teammates suddenly gets shot by three swift arrows. While slowly dying, he asks you to take the plus two charm he had hanging around his neck in a silver locket. It's a family heirloom. He wants you to take it in to his father and tell him his son died in battle. While crying, you promise to do so, you'll honour his death. By the way, I just noticed the, um, the hand not holding the spear. <laughs> Thing is, you're later up binge watching 15 episodes of Garfield back to back and you totally forgot about your promise. Oopsies! <laughs> You link up with Avery to help her loot the bodies of the dozen campers who've perished during today's camp games. Uh, another locker containing a photograph of a family who will never see his son, their son again. These campers are dropping their worst loot today. On the bright side, I've decided to take up, take, uh, take up uh, figure drawing. Um, those dead bodies are pretty good practice. Check it out. This is just a stick figure with the words pretty dead. Where their face should be. It's conceptual. Anyway, I'm bored. Want to go bug those uh, hot bat ladies uh, posing for uh, uh, for all those cameras? What? Sure enough, there's a young adult bat hybrid surrounded by cameras wearing a v very uh, fancy looking longbow. You're very, very over to see what's up. Oh, hey. Who are you? Uh, why are you being interviewed in the camp dome? You mean you haven't heard of me? Oh my god, I just realised this first. <laughs> Hold on. I'm Batness, friend. Of the fear. Batness? Really? Batness? Friend of the people. Anyone continue? And sworn enemy of the... Chancellor. I just realised what the reference is. Who's the Chancellor? You don't know who the Chancellor is? His di his disinfo uh, 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 formation is the most is the most powerful that I've e that I can ever imagine. But with my bow, I'll hey, that's a cool bow. I do actually too. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> so no, sorry, you don't do archery. Archery is my thing, and I'm the protagonist. So what? <laughs> I'm the protagonist, you nocturnal mammal piece of shit. Prepare to get stabbed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you, do your therapist say that you stabbing the... something isn't an answer? Hey, Daniel, you missed the word there. You missed pocket. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm... It didn't say pocket, though. I know it doesn't say I'm pocket, no but that's, expert, that's where the therapist at. But I think this might be one of those times. Yeah, I guess you're right. Man, being emotional mature is hard. A very puts away her knife and pulls out her crossbow. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Beating her in an archery competition will will show her once and for all who the protagonist really is. Oh yeah, uh, beat her in an archery contest. That was my plan all along. Let's do it. So the contest begins. A very shoots a bullseye, then Batness splits her arrow with another bullseye, and a very splits her arrow, and. Hmm. Unless a very can come up with an impressive shot that, uh, repeatedly split arrow splitting bullseyes, this contest is never going to end. Any ideas? Forget the bullseye, look beyond mere appearances and shoot for bulls hard. 
Shoot back the so hard the arrow hits her feet her in the feelings. I hate the skip. I hate you so much. Why did you have to get the Andrew? Why did you just choose the drink? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I haven't bought you know drinks, that's why. I think I'll choose. Go with the cool sounding one. Hmm. I'll choose the, the first one. Fuck it. First one. First one, fuck So charming, you whisper your ideas in her very ear as she gr grins wickedly. Where do you pink a lid? Uh, pink a lid? Uh, a lid? It's a lid. You said my name correctly. <laughs> we actually call with a lid now, are we? It is a lid! It was actually Aldi, but you know. <laughs> Were you looking at back in your room when you made that name? <laughs> I have a pink sticker rock and an Aldi bag in front of me. <laughs> she's... She... She's not... She... She was totally surprised by your idea. But she's pretending like it was her idea to maintain a sense of control over the situation. Hex, you know when I, I hear it when you broadcast my thoughts and insecurities. Well, well let's do this. A very loads of crossbow, lets an arrow fly right into the target. This time though, it doesn't hit the bullseye. Ha! Looks like your luck's ran out. Butlicker, try all you want. You'll never match my skills because I'm... Um... Holy shit! The target is bleeding? It fell over. And I think it's dead. <laughs> dead? It's an archery target. It can't die. That's what you think, uh, Jamboroni. All targets have a heart. They just hide it under ver a very tough, stripy exterior because they're worried about getting hurt again. But I fire an arrow with such tenseness that it gently whistling caused the target to finally let go of its past trauma and open up emotionally. So I could kill it physically. <laughs> I've gone into I've never heard now. of such. I've gone into I've never, <laughs> yep, I've never heard of such a thing in my short and action-packed life. That's because you've never been the therapy loser. A very out. <laughs> you march off proudly together, leaving Batnus uh, flabbergasted behind you. No one needs to know that all the blood was actually from the gremlin you duct taped to the back of the target. <laughs> you care plus two great empathy plus one smart. <laughs> Everyone choose an animal. I'm gonna say hedgehog. Um, I'm going to say otter. But it's all just based on how fucked up you would be now if you were raised by a group of said animals. I think I would have drowned by this point. <laughs> yeah, congratulations on you. You go first again. <laughs> oh yeah, oh well, yeah, we have uh... a. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what was my stats up cabin. before? It's... By the way, you get oh, plus one in everything, plus two in this, plus three in that one, and then another plus one in this. Let's go for... That's not mine. Um, let's go for... Fun? Are you sure? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> You want to go swimming, but it seems like the god of the lake is a bit in the mood today. It demands nothing before you get in the water. The only thing that you have to give is your favourite yo-yo, which you were pl uh, playing with on the way here. The god of the lake accepts your humble gift and is actually kind of relieved you didn't lose something born like a dead fish or a soul of them all. So in addition to getting access late, the god bless you with plus two fun. Yay! You see Joy trying to do something normal on the beach, so you head over to ruin it with sexy. Just as you're about to strive your most exo ex exotic pose, a very stomps over and steals your thunder. Joy! Enhance my armor! I'm getting into the lake! In armor? I know I shouldn't ask, but why? For violent reasons! This stupid lake monster called me short the other day and I was a bit too low level to crush him like he deserved. Then I found his armor of crushing plus 10. That dumb wet thing hole won't know what hit him. But it will be me! I will hit him! I will! The only thing that you're going to hit him if you wear the <laughs> armor is the 
stunned sense of relief as you plummet to the bottom and drowned. It's way too heavy. Wow, Joy. Commenting on my armor's weight. I thought you were better than that. I came here to be enhanced. N uh, enchanted. Not body shamed! Hex, come on. Help me out here. <laughs> you think she listens to me? Oh, that's cute. Anyway, it's fine. I have some friends I've been meaning to visit in. <laughs> Don't talk to me like I'm not here, you two. I'll show you both. How about going into the lake and stabbing that lake monster? Wait. At least let me enchant the armor to wear a little less. It'll keep you from... <laughs> drowning. Oh boy. Hey, lifeguards over here. Yo, hey, check it out. What's up? Even though I know that's a female speaking. My bad. The fairy's drowned in the middle of the lake. Don't you see her from the lifeguards? Oh, there, there, now we've got the male see speaking. Oh, we put blackout curtains on the windows up there. Oh, the sunlight makes it hard to sleep. I was... Go on, continue with that voice. Continue the voice of even for her. Yeah. Man, one of us should probably get her, huh? But I'm really not feeling it right now. Rock, paper, scissors? You run! You better not throw rock, because that's where I'm planning to throw! The two lifeguards square off and proceed to both throw rock 15 times in a row. Surely there's a more better way to decide this. Oh yeah, duh. Stu, grab the emergency scramble board. You don't stand a chance! Man, if a very dies on the lake, it's really gonna kill the horny survives. Quick, suggest a faster way to decide who, uh, who to save, who saves her. Propose an insightful online quiz that determines who's best to save a very. Propose a competition to see who can save a very the fastest. Loser has to save a very. <laughs> <laughs> I would go for the bottom one just because it's. We've kind had of... this option before. I don't remember these two. I do. It was like the thing was like the first time we played. I don't. I don't think we did. That's the funny thing. I think you m must have did it by yourself. Anyway. You know what? I'm gonna choose the bottom one. I don't care. So fun, dude. That's an awesome idea. They'll never let us do competitions like that in the lifeguard school. Yeah, mostly because we went to lifeguard. We never went to lifeguard school, baby. I'm not even sure how like I'm sure lifeguard school is a real thing. Which means there's no one to tell us not to do this. Let's go, dude. The two of them dive in the water and speed towards a very. Soon she's back ashore. Uh, I win! That was awesome. I should be a lifeguard. <laughs> that was not awesome and I did not need saving. I was only drowning to lure my opponent into a false sense of security. Enough there! I forgot we were doing we were doing halfway through and stopped swimming. Oh, <laughs> rules are rules, dude. You lost. You gotta do the thing. We fine. Help me drag her back into the lake so I can save her. Wait. But it's too late to snatch her very away and throw her back into the lake. So they can swim back to shore again. There, I brought her back. Are we even now? Even for what? Well, that was unbelievably pointless. Except for the point of my sword, which I used to stab those fish people doing my surprise return attack, which was my plan all along. I'm very so pleased she even shares some of the loot with you. And Joy is at least mildly impressed that you tricked those idiots into doing their jobs. Twice in, in all at all, in all. I think this is worth plus two fun and plus one bonus, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get myself some uh, more creativity since I lost it. That day, oh, yeah, you this one. Yeah, you <laughs> you make each other friendship bracelets, uh, except for the monster monster scout leader pairs you randomly with your friendship bracelet recipients. I guess so. Larry Village doesn't feel left out for having no friends. You get paired with Larry, surprisingly though he ha he's a great com convince, and he makes you a super hard for bracelet and gives you plus two creative when you wear it. 
Larry sure is nice. Maybe there'll become a day when he's cool enough to be a friend or at least a remarkable summer fling option, but today is not that day. Later you have Milo and Damien and here comes my Damien voice, yes! You've been trying to sell Monster Scout cookies all afternoon, it's not going super great. Hey, you! <clears throat> hey, you! Uh, nope, too low, too low. Uh, just, just do your normal voice. Just, just do your normal deep voice. Hey, um, hey you! Random passerby guy! Buy these fucking cookies or I'll goddamn murder you in your face! I just realised my little shit. Well, it's getting near winter, so this is um, suitable. Oh, Damien, you've, you've just. But, but you're not pa pa passionate. That's why you, what really matters when it comes to our sales. Our passion will convince uh, this man to. Oh. Oh, he, he ran away. Oops. After an highly unsuccessful afternoon of cookie selling, you three go back to Scout HQ and report your sale numbers to coach. Hmm. So you kids were uh, saying that you sold negative cookies. As in, you have more cookies now than when you start selling them. Yeah, but it's not our fault. Selling these cookies is impossible. I tried threatening this guy with knife points to buy some, and it didn't even work. I had to stab him. Nothing is impossible for scouts like you. Remember, these cookies aren't just a healthy snack. No, I'm not doing the hate, uh, the great thing. And the way out for, great. for us to pay for a big cl rock climbing field trip at the end of summer. And also, a wonderful way to teach you scouts and... <sighs> and the I'm getting a drink. Enterprisemanship and problem solving skills. You kids are smart, so let's talk ideas. How do we sell these cookies? Maybe the issue is the brand recognition? Let's focus on social media and let's start a TikTok on behalf of the Scout Cookie brand. And we would be uh, of improve our this C uh, SAO. That will take SEO. forever. Let's rob a bank. When we get the vault, we'll take all the cash and leave all the cookies. It's a perfect crime. Then we blow up the bank. I'm like so proud. I'm so, I'm so proud of you, Scouts. <laughs> You're really cooking up an idea brainstorm here. And remember, the Scout cookies are made with healthy ingredients. That'll, that'll get people to buy them. Oh, coach. You well in you well to a mentor figure. I hate to do this, but you're really trying me to... For a reality check. Nobody wants to buy healthy cookies. Red Eels killed the sugar egg industry. A while ago, and healthy cookies were hot for us. But frankly, we're gonna go out of style the younger generation. Milo's right. The Scout cookies taste horrible. Have you even looked at the ingredients list? These cookies have fucking carrots in them. Coach, I love you, but don't ever try to trick me into eating vegetables. Especially not carrots, the least metal vegetable. Wow, that was hard to hear, but you kids are my scouts, and I value your honest feedback. Tell me the truth. How do we get our cookies to appeal to the modern youngster? Oh, and appealing modern youngsters in your whole thing. Quick, suggest a cookie flavor that's irresistibly to Gen Z. Market research shows the hottest youth trend is getting lost in the wilderness and eating your friend's corpses to survive. Makes corp- Make corpse flavored survival cookies! Teens nowadays love to eat ass. Ass flavored cookies of the future. <laughs> <coughs> I've seen all this. The thing is, with the stats in Cognito mode, I'm like, I'm just going for the ones I like the sound of. That's all I do. Ass flavored cookies. You never had an idea this good. You run off to make a test batch of cookies and bring them to Milo and Damien to show off your genius as I take another drink. That's what you filthy servant. Eating ass is one of the greatest pleasures in the mortal realm. It's about time we paid homage through a bespoke cookie flavor. Is eating ass really that good? Damn it, I'm kind of curious. You're an um, am I just virgin? Oh, you don't know what you're missing. You're gonna be absolutely love it. You should be careful though. Eating ass can be quite addicting. And no matter how much fun it is, you cannot eat ass all day. Trust me, I've tried. 
Oh. Ah. If only I could <laughs> see that us all day, so <laughs> you would collapse. I would cause me the monstrous. Would likely die to have two. But what an immense argument. Take, take a breather and start back at what? Because you're standing all quiet. <sighs> With pleasures I would be before that. What? I was saying you were standing up quiet, so I needed, to, I needed you to restart there. <laughs> and why Natsu's cookies are so... so really genius? They're all of the little... little moments in everyday life. Which is what's societally acceptable. To be eating ass. Ass flaming cookies. Ass flaming mm. cookies. <laughs> you can just... <laughs> You can just slip your ass flavor scalp cookies. Yes, my your lord. Mouth, and your flavor, your flavor will tie it over until you are once again in an ass eating situation. Oh my god, you speak about the fucking room that I see, bitch. Dead. <laughs> Those cookies that are a symbol of pleasure of my life. For the endless beauty that is inspired mine can find even the most mundane of circumstances. Onward, ass cookies. I love Milo. They are brilliant. Mm, yes, 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 they are. Whoa, Milo! That was the smartest shit you've ever said. Ah, man. Give me one of those ass cookies, Natsume. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Natsume. Um, <clears throat> Damien takes a bite of so your freshly baked ass flavored cookie. Ass flavored cookie. Holy fucking god damn. Delicious fucking shit. When I tasted that cookie, something happened. You guys, I'm a different person now. This is my new thing. I'll never be the same, Natsume. Natsume, thank you. Welcome to the new plane of pleasure, darling. Congratulations, you made a cookie so good it changed the course of Damien's life. You eat one of your ass flavor cookies and it gets you plus two charm, plus one creativity. Everyone choose something good. Ass flavored cookies. Ass flavored cookies. Let's choose something actually. Okay, okay, okay. Something good. Um, the Pathfinder um games on PC at the moment. Um, Rimworld. Players are based on the ability to come up with a complex and type for a movie about such a good thing. I've seen YouTube videos. People do fucking amazing with their room. It's a problem, it's a movie of that thing, so both hours are basically either sci-fi or fantasy. We can't decide between the two. It's random though. It's a random zephyr. Yeah, true. Yeah, guess what, you get to go first again. And you get yeah. to decide, do we sit in the log again together, or do we 